All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a two versus two on Twisted Meadows between our blue orc player, Grubby. Up top, we have our teal human player, Yonam. Yonam. Down on the bottom, we have our team two, which consists of our red night elf player, his, and our red undead player, Shocker. We're going to speed it up to the 8x mark. Two minute point of the game, and all the heroes come out, all the good stuff starts to happen. See what these players decide to do at the beginning here. Work complete. Grubby for the Null Overseer camp. And while Yon going after the Golem camp gets boots of Quill the Lass. Which may be given to the Blade Master there. For the Grove up top here, gonna get some kills with Entangle and these peasants. Couple down already, another entangle there will kill another. Where gets a circlet of nobility from the Noel over Seer camp. And a gloves of haste. Actually, you may have bought that from the goblin merchant. Not sure if you already had that or not. Either way, it gets gloves of haste. And the Archmage here may end up transferring that boots to the Blade Master sooner or later here. Looks like they may be doing that now. And there goes that transfer. And now plus eight agility on the Blade Master already. It's quite a good start. Death Knight clears out the Golem camp. Got lots of over strength and greater mana on the Death Knight so far. Now the Null Overseer camp will get cleared out here, and I think the past couple of replays my voice was pretty low, and I apologize about that, but I think my setting has got messed up or something somehow, and uh, this should be corrected, but if it's not, I'll just keep tweaking it. Gloves of Haste for the Blade Master again, and now Yone in the Night Elf base here, chasing away the Wisps. Tangle pretty good against single units, doing tons of damage to these women. Meanwhile, the undead, a tome of knowledge by the looks of it, or maybe health. Didn't see it fast enough there. And footman going down quite a bit here. Archmage in a little bit of trouble. And talisman of evasion for the death knight. And Grubby in the undead base here, going after. The Acolytes forcing them all off the gold mine, so I'm trying to capture all the action here. Uh, easier said than done, going back and forth. And Archmage will be teleporting out soon here. And Grubby, not sure how many he killed, looks like maybe one. Grubby takes a dust of appearance. Death Coil. And gets another... Acolyte before he is taken down. And uh, must have forgotten about his Blade Master for a moment there. And our Grange will get the Null Brute Camp. I'm gonna get that level 3, level 2 elemental that does about 80% uh, more than the first one. Big upgrade. Scout Tower is coming up here, but uh, already getting taken out by the Huntresses and trying to power repair these. And the Arcane Tower is up now, burning up that mana, the Keeper of the Grove. Our town is under attack! And Grubby's base also under siege. Orc Burrow trying to be repaired here. And Grubby nearly out with the Blade Master. And Human Base gonna be doing alright. Shadow Melded Huntress. Hiding away for now though. Grubby power repair in this Burrow, but gonna run out of lumber soon. Will not be able to repair any longer. And just barely on that lumber. Now down to three, a couple left, Work complete. and Blade Master is out, and double. 
Gloves of Haste. Plus eight agility on this Blade Master makes him attack very quickly. And now Grubby may need some assistance from Yon as two armies are attacking Grubby at the same time here. Trying to stay alive here, gonna lose a grunt and we'll lose a second one fairly soon after that. And oh, gonna be Huntress is actually gonna try and take down this burrow. So many peons trying to repair this burrow, and it will go down here soon by the looks of it. No more gold here to repair. And now Grubby in a little bit of trouble here, gonna go back to mining and harvesting lumber. Blade Master attacks so fast here at for a level three Blade Master. Person in here trying to run away for its life, and Grubby gets another Blade Master kill here. Shocker trying to get out of there. Grubby back in the swing of things here, repairing, or rather, mining and harvesting lumber. Really repairing much of anything right now. And now Grubby may be in a little bit of trouble here. Gonna try and get out of here. He doesn't have the mana to windwalk. And if Yon came over with that brilliant aura, would give him enough mana, maybe. May lose the Blade Master here. That teleportation sends the Blood Mage on over. And he transfers some mana over to the Blade Master, keeps him alive, he loses the Blood Mage instead, which is not too big of a deal as he was only a level 1 hero. But not very expensive. Would have been a much bigger loss to lose that Blade Master. Both players look like they're coming up to the top here to get this Ogre Magi camp. Go one little knoll just hanging out. Ready to ride. Comes intelligence for the Shadow Hunter. Under attack. And the Ogre Magi will fall here. See what he gets. Tells many of evasion. Our town is under attack. Huntress is back in the orc base once again. That lonely level one knoll there was taken out. Hitting Grubby once again. That's gonna be a little bit of trouble here. The burrows do tremendous damage to Huntresses. Pearl's nearly completed, and we'll probably transfer some peons to there. Work complete. In order to hit these huntresses a little bit more, and Shadow Hunter gets surrounded, and Squirrel of Protection on the huntresses. And Serpent Words Ready for the Shadow ride. Hunter. Excellent counter to huntresses. Shocker here, gonna 
force him on out of there. Decent flank from Yon forcing the undead out. Seen it a little too early though. And managed to get away just fine. Ready to rise. Now Huntress is once again deep in the base by taking damage from the arcane towers. Take a little bit of extra damage from those unarmored against that piercing, but uh, not quite a lot of damage to begin with. We're under attack! Oh, and very nice shadow meld there to save some of those huntresses. Those huntresses would have taken a lot of damage with all those riflemen there. We're under attack! And really well played by his shadow melding all of those. Dust of Appearance would be quite useful for that situation and shadow melding a lot. So definitely could use some dust. Ready and anybody going to support it? Doesn't look like it. And Flute of Accuracy there on the ground. But the Blademaster will fall. A very poor decision to go in there like that. Took a lot of damage. And now a Flute of Accuracy on the undead. And where did it go? Oh, actually, the Dark Ranger has it. Ready to ride. And that's going to be huge for the undead. Going to have a lot of extra damage, plus two uh, upgraded spiders, plus four damage on those. And one destroyer gets taken out before he makes it out of there. Now the Huntress is back. Their silly ways of flanking. Oh, and some extra towers like would be pretty nice for that human. I mean, one or two extra ones, but, uh, Stop that rush into his base. Our town is under attack. We're under attack. Grubby's base now under attack might turn into a base raid situation, but there are some raiders over here are pretty good at taking out buildings, but the Undead also has some decent damage as well with those double upgraded Crypt Fiends. No abominations in Grubby's base as well. Pillage coming up allow these units to steal some resources but it doesn't look like it will finish in time you know tree of life here are gonna be teleported to and a huge teleportation there that squirrel was right on top and abominations up in your face when you have rifles never a very good thing Grubby in on the action here. And Blade Master takes a ton of damage. Frost Nova plus Death Coil. And now down to just 100 health. Uses a potion of invulnerability, but not looking too good. And Grubby GG's out. We are Red Team, uh, the winner, which uh, interestingly enough consists of Shocker and his at the end. They seem to have switched up a little bit there, but uh, well played on both sides. Pretty fun game.
but uh, didn't quite didn't quite handle. I think a, a couple more towers, especially for the human there in the back, would have been pretty nice. Some actual guard towers to deal good damage to those huntresses would have been pretty nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed the replay, and I will see you guys next time.